The Berlin Area School District has confirmed the death of an 11 year old during a hunting incident in Green Lake County yesterday. The boy has been identified as Easton Tome. Easton was a sixth grade student at Berlin Middle School. Chris Lemo shows us how the community is coming together to help the family. Wearing blaze orange in a Berlin shop on this day has extra meaning. Inside bays, beards and cuts, orange was the theme of the day as the community came together to show support for the Tome family. Bays decided anyone who wears orange to the shop through Tuesday would have the money from that haircut go to the Tome family. It's kind of an easy decision. I mean, I don't know the family at all, but uh, he was actually in the same class as my oldest daughter. So, I mean, it's just one of those things when you hear something like that, it's just, for me, it's just easy to make a decision and be like, okay. He said that being a hunter with children of a similar age, it's hard for him to imagine what the family is going through. With me being a hunter myself and uh, even though I haven't been able to get out the last few years, but I mean, eventually I want to be able to take my kids out and I couldn't imagine uh, something like this happening. Bayes said that the town coming together without any planning shows the closeness of the community. This was something last night that I heard about it and I'm like, okay, I want to do something. And it's not just me that's doing it. They, they got the meal drive going on or the meal train going on, I guess that's completely filled now for every day. Other businesses and nonprofits in the area are also announcing new ways of donating to help the family. Farmers and Merchants Bank is collecting donations in addition to a bake sale at the Knott Spot. And Unimaginable Hope also announced their support to raise money and others are donating meals. Meanwhile, back in the barbershop, Zach says his goal is to raise $500 between Monday and Tuesday. He says he's already nearly halfway to that goal and was booked solid both on Monday and possibly on Tuesday. In Berlin, Chris Lemo, NBC26.